What's up, everybody? Today I was going to make a salad uh, in that 1,500 calories, you know, for the day. But I thought if I make a salad, I'm gonna lose everybody. So I'm gonna do the unexpected, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make your own homemade flour tortillas at home using cassava flour. And then I'm gonna show you if you don't want to make your own flour tortillas, what brand to buy so that you don't have to uh, spend all that time in the kitchen, but you still get a flour tortilla that's not gonna drop the nuances. All right, so if you don't want to make your own flour tortillas, but you want to be able to get some flour tortillas, it won't drop your immune system. They're called Siete. The brand's called Siete brand. Now, they make a lot of other tortillas, but I, I personally don't use them because they have pumpkin seeds and, and other um, ingredients that will drop the immune system. This is the only one, their burrito size, that, that has the ingredients that uh, I use for my diet. And at the end of this video, after I show you how to make these tortillas, I'm going to show you their ingredients and then the ingredients that we have in a regular standard flour tortilla and how actually damaging it is. Because we don't recognize what's what the... I got 11. Uh, 11 ingredients in a standard uh, tortilla that will not only hurt your immune system, but change your genetic code for the worse, not for the better. So I'm going to show you how I make a flour tortilla out of this cassava flour, right? with uh, three ingredients. Uh, we don't gotta get drastic and be putting all these ingredients that have nothing to do with the tortilla, but have a lot to do with breaking our system down. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so this is the best I could do as far as setup. I can't get my face in there along with cooking, so we're just gonna have to show you how to cook. Um, so we're gonna be using, to make these flour tortillas at home, we're gonna be using Oto's cassava flour, one fourth cup, right? We're going to be using six tablespoons of warm water. That's six tablespoons, right? A big one. And uh, just so that you know, five tablespoons is in a fourth of a cup. Let's see if you guys can see that. Ah, I don't got good lighting. Apologize for that. But a fourth of a cup is pretty much five tablespoons. So this recipe is a fourth of a cup plus a tablespoon. To make it easy is just six tablespoons of water. We're gonna be using an eighth of a teaspoon, one eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. We're gonna be doing it really simple, uh, just with uh, sea salt. We're not gonna get fancy with uh, other flavors, you can, but for this recipe, we're just gonna keep it simple. And then we're gonna be doing what is half a teaspoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of olive oil. That's gonna make you two of these tortillas. It's gonna make you two flour tortillas. And the calorie count on that, give me one second. I got all the calorie counts right here. It's going to be one gram of protein, 28 grams of carbs, and 110 calories for those two flour tortillas, right? And for Siete brand, their tortilla is much bigger, much, much bigger. They have 100, and that's this brand right here, right? This brand right here. It's one big tortilla, and it's 190 calories. 34 grams of carbs and two grams of protein. Now the reason why I like making my own is not that the brand is not good. The brand is good. It tastes good. It just has a different texture. And these, if you grew up Mexican like I did, you grew up with flour tortillas, and these taste so similar, if not identical, to the flour tortillas uh, my great grandma used to make, and you just grow up with uh, in Mexican households and that is with this cassava flour. So cassava is a root, this is not a grain. It's high in carbohydrates, but like I said, if you're burning off those carbohydrates um, after you eat them throughout the day, meaning going to work or going to work, burning them, doing household uh, work is burning them, going to the gym is burning them. You just wanna be moving the body after uh, getting this amount of carbohydrates in the body because those carbohydrates do turn into sugar and then that sugar will convert into fat if we don't burn it for that day. All right, so now getting back into the recipe. So we're going to, I'm gonna do it live, which is not live, but you feel what I'm saying. I wanna do it as we go, right? You can see what I'm doing. So I take a fourth of a cup of this cassava flour, and I put it right there so you guys can see that. I don't get paid by these people, but I do like their brands, and I will promote what I do like, right? What I like and what I use. And we're gonna put in the sea salt. I like this grinder 
I get this at uh, Trader Joe's because it has a lid on it. So when you grind, it holds your salt or whatever seasoning that you got ground, ground up in there. It holds it for you, meaning it's not going to fall out. And it has it all ground up for you so it's easy to measure. I do not measure my seasonings ever, but you can thank my sister. She's like, if you don't measure, I can't make it taste right. Get me measurements on the seasoning. So it's the only reason I'm giving you measurements. So this is one eighth of a teaspoon. Drop it right in there. Now you want to mix that up just real quick. And the only reason why you want to mix up your seasoning, in this case, we're just using sea salt, is to, when you have dry ingredients, it'll get around everywhere. Once it gets wet, it can get locked into one spot. And then you got this one uh, lopsided tasting um, tortilla mix. <laughs> Salty on one end. And you, you, you want to disperse that, that seasoning all around that dry powder mix. Then we're going to do the six tablespoons of water. Now again, I said it's one fourth of a cup plus one tablespoon. We're going to do it just like this. It's one, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth one, you kind of want to go low on it. What I noticed is a little bit too much water. So just go low on that six tablespoon of water. If for whatever reason it feels too, too moist, all you do is just get a tiny little bit more of the uh, flour, of the cassava flour, and it should balance it right out with no problem. Then we're gonna do the half a teaspoon of olive oil. Half a teaspoon of olive oil. And for all the calories, uh, the totals, and all of that stuff, I'll be putting it down in the description below so you can see what each tortilla comes out to be. So you can have those uh, measurements in your calorie check for the day. So what we do is we just have it like that, a little dry wet, right? Meaning it started out dry and I was wet. <laughs> you wrap it around. It's really quick. I mean, this is the only reason this takes long is because I got to talk to you about it, right? But if not, this has already been done and on the hot pan. Uh, speaking of hot pan, when you have this going like this, look at that. It just, everything comes off of the sides. It doesn't stick. We're done, right? Four simple ingredients. Bada bing, bada boom. We have our flour tortilla ball. We're going to put this into two pieces. Two balls, right? We all know about them two balls, so we put them two balls right there. We open this up right here. This right here is something called the Mexican tortilla press. In Mexico, we don't call it that. We just say la plancha, or las tortillas, uh, kind of like an iron, tortilla iron, right? Well, if you don't have this, which I, I swear not too many people have this out here in the U.S. I get it, right? So what we want to do is we want to maybe put a, a plate with a plate and, and just cause some pressure like that. A plate with a plate. I didn't think about that until right now. A lot of guys might not even have uh, a tortilla press. <laughs> Let's crack it up. All right, so you just want to get some uh, wax paper, right? Some wax paper. If you do not have wax paper, it's all right. We can get a little um, creative. We can call it ghetto or creative, whatever you'd like. You can just get a shopping bag, a plastic shopping bag. Place one of the balls, right? The ball don't got to be perfect. It can be flat, it can be however, but you just want to get some little symmetry on there. That's the only reason we put it in a ball. You flip it over like that. Put a little pressure, just a little bit of pressure. Not too much pressure because you make it so flat that it'll be so thin it'll tear, right? And then... You just pop it out like that and you put that on your hot skillet and you have a tortilla i mean that's how fast this is uh, i'm going to be taking guys over to the stove the only reason i'm going to put this back in the ball back into a ball is i want to show you that if it doesn't come out right the first time you can just do it again and this time we're going to do it in uh, wax paper so you can see what it's like that it works in both and it's a light press remember you go too hot too hard It'll be too thin. And then if you don't go hard enough, it won't be uh, big enough either. So you, got, you kind of have to play with it. So you see that one's a little smaller than the last one. Maybe you didn't see that. I don't know. I don't think I showed the other one too well. You just put it in. And you just put a little more press, right? A little bit more pressure. And let me show you what it looks like. It's your tortilla. Bada bing, bada boom. You always want to make sure your skillet's hot behind you so that 
from here, it goes straight out to the hot pan and they cook in minutes and that's how fast you can make your own flour tortilla. All right, so right here we have the flour tortilla on a very nice hot skillet. What this is, this is, is instead of a, a flat skillet, uh, they call it a wok or a stir fry pan. Now the reason why I like to use these, I like cooking pretty much everything in it, even my eggs. Uh, but going back to the tortilla and the reason why is because it, everything slides without having to touch the, when it comes to the tortillas, you won't have to touch the pan. And a lot of people don't like to make tortillas because they feel they have to, well, they actually do end up touching the pan. They burn their finger because they go in slow. And the, and, the, and the movement here is bam, bam, right? It's a quick, quick movement. And the skillet, because it has this round, it, it got that nice flip to it, right? My hands have uh, flour on it. Over here, I put it on a hot skillet so that you can see what I'm talking about when you want to teach your kids or you want to teach yourself how not to be um, afraid of the hot skillet you want to first start working over here with this so what people do is they'll go in and they'll grab the tortilla with fear and they'll go slow and then they burn their hand and that, that's the problem so that's why working over here watch so what's going on right now is that for some reason let me see i don't have my heat up high enough so let me show you the heat i had the heat way too low i had the heat right about here because i was talking and making the the product but what we want to do is have it like at a medium heat the reason why these guys these guys got to be nice and hot the pans before we put them on is so that they don't stick so you'll get it where the pan um, is not hot enough and the flour tortilla will stick and i'm wondering okay i was able to get it up so my little fingers they, they've been used to heat for so long that even if i do feel the heat it for whatever reason it doesn't burn and then we're going to come over here pick this guy up Woo! You see the difference? You see how you have to... Whoop! You can't see the difference because I wasn't showing you. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> oh my god, all this recording and cooking is tricky. Alright. So, working on these and working on this, you're going to see the difference. Yeah, you're going to be able to see the difference. And then you run the risk of having to touch the pan or the hot skillet when, when you do it on one of these and so here we go now hopefully okay now because we got that first cooking layer on i'm able to show you how you can slide it oh you know what i can't do this and hold this phone at the same time it's just i don't have that special talent special talent and ability there we go when these if this was hotter like it should have been i would have been able just to flip that over much quicker and with this curve it uh helps me out so we're going to get back to this when they start bubbling up so you can see when they actually start um, finishing cooking, when you actually know when they're ready. So you see them flat like that? In a little bit, they're going to bubble up. All right, so it's been about four minutes now. And what you'll notice is sometimes they'll swell up. I'm going to see if I can get a little angle right there. And sometimes they won't. You'll see a little steam coming out. That means they won't swell up because there's a break in the um, in the layers. And so that steam that usually bubbles them up is coming out. So you won't get that big lift. You get a little lift, but not a lot. But you'll see, you'll see that your tortilla is done. Okay, you can see it rising a little bit right there, right? See that little rise? It'll usually happen throughout the whole tortilla. And that's when you know this done. It's color changes. So you get this more whitish uh, color and this you get the transparency is where it's still not done and the more opaque is where it, uh, you know it's your tortilla is almost done so when you want that more opaque oops right there you want that more opaque um, color to let you know it's done now over here what I wanted to show you that I couldn't show you before is why using a wok works so well for uh, these flour tortillas can see that little bulge right there i don't know if you guys can see that in the camera angle i don't think so i don't think you can see it in the angle but going back to the help that these look at that you see how it flipped over it helps me out in the motion that's that curvature that i like to make um sunny side up eggs this is the best doesn't break the egg you get that nice cover on the top because you put the lid on it 
you sw I swear you don't even have to uh, use a spatula. Just slips right out, right onto the plate. So you get that nice egg at the end. And here we go. See, there's your tortilla. Tortilla's done. These tortillas are done. And they're done in about five minutes. Okay, look, there you go. We got some swelling right there. You're able to see that. You, got, you want to be careful too. You don't want to actually uh, puncture that with your hand because that, all that is hot vapor. Hot vapor. All right. And there we go. So here you go. You got your two flour tortillas. And you can just bust these out in a day, a bunch of them, and have them in your refrigerator. And they come out to about 65 calories each one. And that, that that's not bad. You know, you still get to enjoy it. I think it's 14 grams. I'll have it all right now, but it's 14 grams per tortilla of carbohydrates, 65 grams of, uh, 65 calories, excuse me, per tortilla. And that way you actually get to enjoy the taste. Oh my God, these things taste amazing. Your eyeballs will cross. They will cross when you're eating your food. You'll be thinking of me. <laughs> You'll be thinking of me when you eat these tortillas. Uh, you will enjoy them. So, uh, bon appetit. Listen to me. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me.